Hey everyone, welcome back to Fantastic Microbes and Where to Find Them. Today is Saturday, which means it's time for another small adventure. So, a couple of months ago, we looked at some water under the microscope that was in a frozen river. And I wanted to revisit that area to see how things have changed now that it's springtime. And I actually ended up finding a lot of really cool stuff. So, let's, let me show you what I found. So this is where I collected my last sample. Um, hey bird. Just right down by those rocks over there is where it used to be frozen. But now it's nice and not warm. So the visibility in this river, uh, or the transparency is pretty low. I mean, you can't really see past a foot or so. And so that suggests that there's probably a lot of stuff living in here. So I, I think we're going to find a lot of really cool things. All right, so we've got a lot of samples to go through. So I'm going to start with some of the ones that I wasn't sure what they were. Uh, this little ciliate thing is really cool. I loved how it swims in kind of a corkscrew fashion. But it was going a little bit too fast, so I wasn't able to figure out what it was. Here we've got another ciliate. This one's a little bit bigger. And uh, just to remind you guys, ciliates are things that have lots of little fuzzy things called cilia uh, all over their body, and that's kind of where they get the name ciliate. Uh, this is another ciliate, but this one's a little bit different because a lot of its little hairs are fused together uh, to form kind of feet-like structures. And you might have seen this on one of my past videos. I can't remember where exactly I put it in. Maybe it was in the Sedona video, but here it is in, in one of my past ones. You can see it uh, using its feet to crawl, and here back on this one, I'm focusing a little bit closer, so now you're seeing the underside, you can see its feet crawling on the glass slide. So yeah, I just really like these guys. Um, they're called Hippotrix, and they're just really cool. Now this was really unexpected. Uh, I've never really seen a pink uh, organism like this under the microscope before. So when I saw this, I was really confused. I had no idea what I was looking at. And uh, I decided to look at it both in the dark field lens and in the bright field in order to figure out what it was. So here it is in dark field, and then we're switching over, three, two, one. Uh, here it is in the bright field view. Now this was a pretty big organism, and I haven't really seen other things like this. And so I took to Reddit, and I went to other places, and I asked around, and I said, hey, what the heck is this? Does anybody know? because um, it's really cool and I really need to know. And people were saying, hey, it's a stentor. Now, here's some footage from stentors of my video from the ice, and you can see they look very different. They've got a long uh, trumpet-like structure, and even when they move, they still kind of hold their long extended form. But I found out through the powers of the internet that be, that these guys can contract into a ball uh, for either defense or for conserving energy or just for whatever other reason. Uh, anyway, so with this guy, because it's so big, I was able to zoom in and get a lot of really cool detail up close. So here is the stentor up close. And another thing that, that I thought was really peculiar was that it was pink in the dark field, but in the bright field, it was kind of a bluish green. Now, a lot of those circles that you're seeing in there um, are, like the circles that are kind of in a chain, are what's known as its macronucleus. So you can kind of think of it as the, the brain of this organism. Now, uh, zooming in here, you're able to see lots of lines. Those little lines or fibers are basically the muscles of this guy. And so with those little fibers, it's able to contract and expand. And uh, yeah, so this one was really cool. So here in this river of non-frozen water, I also found one of my favorite microorganisms. This is a special rotifer called Caratella. And I really like it because it looks kind of like an insect with wings, uh, but that's just the shell of, of, of its body and it just kind of swims uh, like that. Another really cool thing about this is that because of the dark field lens, uh, the way that the light reflects off of the uh, curved uh, body, it's reflecting light in a really cool way. So it kind of gives off like a rainbow pattern. 
All right, now this is the granddaddy of cool things that I found. Uh, normally I find really, really small things, but I found this worm wiggling around and it was really hard to catch with a pipette, uh, but I finally got it and managed to get it onto a slide. And you can see that it was really messy uh, because it was moving around like crazy and it was really hard to get. So I put this thing under the dark field lens and what I saw astounded me. This is so cool. So. I don't know anything about worms. I'm not a worm guy. Uh, maybe you guys know a, a worm enthusiast, but uh, anyway, this was really cool because um, in the dark field as well as bright field, I was able to see um, all the internal structures of this guy. And so you're able to see kind of its, its blood pumping uh, through its arteries and things like that. Um, as, but, but as you can see, it's also really hard to, to, to get this guy to stop moving. Um, so I'll just kind of let you guys enjoy this and, uh, put some music on for just a second and, cause this is just really, really cool. All right, that about wraps it up for this episode. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed it, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. It really helps out a lot. And uh, yeah, go ahead and comment below if you liked any of the microbes, which ones were your favorite, and uh, if you'd like me to go explore other places, where else would you would like me to check out. So uh, thank you again, and I'll see y'all next time.